Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. One one. Um, okay. As you have heard previously, there's a good steady growth of the mobile usage um, among you, our partners, and your clients, and that also happens not only on the domestic market, that also happens internationally. That is why um, I personally believe that it's already a good topic why we should talk about the mobile. And uh, started first as an experiment, today mobile team is a fully fledged unit of the company. And those are the applications that you may find on Google's Play Market, on uh, Apple's App Store. Um, not all of them are in the current development mode. However, those that, that are on top are. And you may also notice that uh, most of the applications are available not only for the VLON, but also for VLON local, and also available for white labeling. Today, today the, the clicker is not really working. Okay. Today I'm going to speak about the two of the applications. That's the VLON for mobile and VRTEC. I will first... Um, go through the plans that we have for the VLON, and then go over the basic use cases that are for the VRTEC. And we'll conclude with some pleasing use for those of you who are using white labels. So let's begin with the VLON. First developed as an application that would provide you in a fast and easy access to the most essential data of your VLON account. Um, VLON has actually um, has, done, has, has done well with this function. However, we've had a lot of requests from you. That would be to add some reports, to add some more reports, to add the functionality of adding the notifications, um, to create notifications from, from the application, to add them, to edit them, and so on and so forth. So we have faced an issue. An initial um, application was not developed to support all those features. And that is why we decided to rethink how the inner, um, how the inner working of the application is done. And that is why um, we have decided to update it. Uh, alongside of this process, uh, there's also a redesign of the, of the application is going on. And let me um, show you a couple of slides um, of the screenshots that we have so far. Uh, the distribution of this updated version will happen uh, as the following. We already at the moment have the designs. With those of you who would be interested in uh, looking at them and um, assessing the better version, uh, I will ask you to get in touch with us. We will distribute the application among you. We will collect the feedback from you. And while this application is in the better stage, uh, we will develop it further until it fully um, catches up the current application. When it is done, uh, we will update it in the stores and everyone will get them. So, if you want to test it early, please write us an email to developmentgurt.com and we'll have you in the list and we'll hear your feedback first. Okay, let's now proceed to the VRTEC. VRTEC is our second iteration of what the company is thinking about personal tracking, um, tracking from the mobile phone. And um, that is the application that leverages the fact that most of us have the smartphones in our pockets. Yes, as with any solution that comes with some trade-offs, uh, the application requires some well-thought setting up if you want to function it well. However, on the other side, there is a good cost reduction on the fact that we don't need to buy any additional hardware. Uh, hence, during this part of the presentation, I will go through certain um, use cases that we see for the VRTAC. And one of them, and the, the first of them, is GPS tracking. You may do so not only from switching on the service inside the application itself, but also creating a job from the web or running the command 
uh, from the web or mobile application. And my personal favorite example, sorry, my personal favorite example of this use case is Zitat. That's a project from Kuwait, and the company is using about 700 units to run all around the Kuwait to deliver the food. Um, they saw the market opportunity, they wanted to test it, they already had the um, ordering solution in place, and Viatak helped them to test it not only on the uh, automobiles, on the vehicles, but also on the scooters, also on the bikes, and so on. You will hear about this case uh, a little bit later on from my colleague uh, from the Middle East region. He'll go into more details over there. Uh, so Vietak helped them to prove their idea and uh, prove that to be viable. Okay, the second use case is a proof of visit and the source alerts. Inside of the application, we may scan the QR code, send a photo, uh, scan the NFC tag, and send a source alert. With every message, we also send a timestamp and the latest known location of the device. An example for that would be a Cloud IP, uh, the partner from Sri Lanka, who employs this feature. And, um, they're using it on the project, uh, indoor project, when they have a security staff that needs to come to certain points um, alongside the perimeter of the, of the safe area, and the guys are scanning the NFC tags, and that is how they're proving that the certain person visited the certain location. Coming next to the custom statuses, you may uh, select availability or any other custom status that would make sense for your business. Also, you may not only do that, but also assign the driver, assign the passenger or the trailer using the custom statuses. However, uh, I have not seen any good implementation of that. So that is why I believe that uh, once we share all your cases with the community, all the community would benefit. For you, that's already a working case. For somebody else, that might be a profit-generating project. That is why I would encourage you to share your cases with us, and that may be done uh, by writing an email to development.com as well, or to marketing.com. And we will collect those cases and on the blog, and we will share with all this, uh, our community. Um, let me conclude with the news from my Gurtan.com team. The guys are working on the solution that would make um, easier for, you, for your white labels to request them, request personalization, customize the design of the application themselves, Oops, and update the application. Uh, the team is promising that to roll out uh, by the end of the next month, so um, please expect that. For more mobile talks, that's going to be our work group at 5 p.m., and uh, I will be glad to see you all over there. If there's any question at the moment, I uh, would be glad to, to answer them. Okay. okay. Thank you, Pavel, for the presentation. Yes, and we have some questions from the chat. Uh, so um, let's start from the from the beginning. From the beginning, and any plans for mobile apps for Nimbus and Sensolator? Nimbus and Sensolator. Uh, we're hearing some requests. There are no certain plans for the moment, and yeah, but still we may discuss it. Make collect the partners who are interested in the solution, collect the contacts, not the partners, yeah. <laughs> okay, another one, uh, are there any future plans to use WeAttack as platform to upload a document in PDF or any other file format? For example, truck driver uploads his delivery papers directly to the person who is responsible for the tracking. Um, Inside the team, we believe that the whole ordering system 
is more on the side of logistics application, and that would make much more sense inside that application. However, still, uh, the collection of all requests uh, is welcome, and uh, if, if we see the significant interest over there, we might think about that. Um, so p please be vocal about that. Yeah. Okay, and uh, another more question, Timothy, about designing trailers using WeAttack. I was speaking about uh, a case story, a case story, or you have like a general requirement for this? Uh, assigning trailers using WITAC was yeah. an example that he gave in his presentation, and I'm wondering how would you do that? Just want to learn more. Yeah, sure. Um, I will share the post about that because the, in this case we'll have to go through the settings of both VIATAC and VLON. Uh, if you're interested, please stop by and I'll show you or later on send you the link. Thank you. And we have another question about the differences between we attack and GPS tag, but I don't think it's a question that we can answer like in two minutes, or you can try uh, this. Yeah, let's, let's probably discuss it over the board group. Yes, thank you very much. And um, the questions about the statuses, so it's like about the functionality of VLON. You can always find Pavel uh, in this hall and ask any question you like. So let us thank Pavel and give it up for him another time. Thank you.